Hey YouTube, it's Miranda and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. So for today's video, I figured I would show you how I make a mask. If you don't know, I have a Cricut machine right here in my office. Jordan's back here. I've made so much fun stuff with my Cricut, mostly stickers, which is what I sell on my Etsy. But if you follow me on TikTok, then you know that I make a whole bunch of stuff with my Cricut. A coworker requested a mask that says Merry and Bright, and today I got these really nice gray masks at Target. It's the Bella Canvas brand, which my coworker Sarah was telling me about this brand. And it's very soft and very nice. It's a pack of five. I think these are going to be really comfortable. The ear loops are not too thick, and it's just a very, like, light, breathable mask. So I'm going to turn this into the Christmas mask that my coworker requested. So for some reason, I, like, couldn't come up with a good design on my own. So I found this one. Oh, it's not focusing. <laughs> This one, it says, obviously, Merry and Bright. It has the Christmas lights. So I took this and just kind of like freehanded my own design based off of that. It's very similar. So this is the design I came up with. What I did was take my favorite font playlist script. Looks like this. You can see it's like a dry brush kind of font. So it has some kind of like scratchy sections. So I wanted to go over it so that it would be a nice thick font so that it knows where to cut on the Cricut. So I'm actually not saving the lights on the PNG because I think I'm just going to cut those out with my hands. But the Cricut's going to cut out this right here. So the Marian Bright with the dots that will have the lights on them. So what I do to take this design from Procreate to the Cricut Design Space is take away the background so that it's transparent. And then I save this as a PNG right here. And then I'm going to go into my Cricut Design app. New project. Oh, let's replace the old project. Those were some stickers that I did. Select from photo library. And then bring in the design that I just made. And then we're going to put it into the canvas like that. So now what I'm going to do is take one of my mats. This is the Cricut cutting mat. And I'm going to see kind of how big this mask is so I can figure out what size will look good. I kind of wanted to take up most of the mask like... I want it to be kind of a big design so that it says merry and bright across this whole section here. So I'm kind of thinking it would look good from like here to here, which is about four inches. So I'm going to go back into my app and I'm going to choose edit. And then I'm going to choose the width to be four inches like that. And it looks so small in here. You kind of have to zoom in, play around. And then we'll press make it and it tells me it's gonna look like this on the canvas which is perfectly fine whenever you're doing iron on vinyl you want to make sure that you um, mirror the image so that because otherwise when you iron on this will be backwards so we need to print it backwards or cut it backwards so that it will be correct on the mask so we click up here and then choose mirror for iron on and now it's backwards and i need to turn on my cricket So this bag of iron-on vinyl came from Amazon. I really like it. I haven't tried very many. I've tried the Cricut brand, um, a sizer one, and then this. I'll have to put the link in the description because I don't remember like what, what brand it was or what the listing said. I don't know what color I should make it. I know I drew it in black, but I can make it any color I want. So what should I do? I think I'm going to cut it in white. That sounds like what I want. Okay, so now it's time to get my cutting mat ready. So what I'm going to do is take this off. The iron-on vinyl has a shiny side and a matte side, and you want to make sure that sh the shiny side is down because this is the actual part that you want on your mask. So you want to flip it over and then have the right design. So yeah, looks like that. I'm going to show you the settings on my Cricut. The Cricut has a setting for iron-on, so I just turn it to that. And now it's time to load the mat into the Cricut. So you just slide it under these and load. And then when this lights up, it's ready to go. And it's done. Unload. Oh, I always, I always drop it. Why? Let's see how this design turned out. Here is how the design turned out. I think that's pretty much perfect. All right, so set that aside. And now I don't know why this fell back here, but I need my little easy press. It's way back here, and the little stand for it. Well, first I'm gonna lint roll this because when you're gonna iron on, you should always lint roll. And now I'm just gonna give it a quick press with nothing on it to flatten it out before I put the design on. All right, once you have it lined up, all I'm gonna do is take this and press it and hold in the different sections. So this covers this much and then I'll move over and then just make sure the whole thing gets pressed. I just noticed my press was on low like that. So I turned it up to high. Probably was, actually I don't think I was. 
Alright, so this is what we have so far. It's cute. Okay, so in order to make them all the same, I ended up using the snap mat feature on the Cricut Design Space where you can put little pieces of your vinyl or whatever and then actually like knows from the picture where it is. So hopefully these come out. I just wanted them to be all the same size. So I figured that I would try to do it this way. Let's see how it turned out. Perfect. Okay, see, so now they'll be all the same size. It's not like it's any fancy shape. I didn't even make sure that they were like perfectly smooth or anything. I just wanted them to all be the same. So I just planned out where I want the lights to go and I'm going to do the same thing. Just press each one and then I will show you the finished product. All right, guys, here is the final result. I think it's so cute. It came out so good. Really proud of this. Thinking about adding it to my Etsy shop because I love it that much. Obviously not going to put it on because it is a gift for someone, but I'll give you a little idea of what it would look like, you know, something like that. So cute. So that is it for Vlogmas Day 6. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this. If you want any more Cricut tips, if you want to know how to make my stickers, anything from my Etsy, anything at all, let me know in the comments down below so I know what you guys want to see. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 7. Bye! Behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord.